You know, years ago, when I was diagnosed, you were expected to do whatever your doctor told you to do. You know, there's a big thing, doctor orders, and you didn't really have the chance to do anything that you felt was right. Now, when you first got diabetes, you went through and you got taught stuff. As you progress through your care, <coughs> it's time that you should start asking questions. And it can be something as easy as, well, when I do that, my blood sugar goes up. Or, do I need more insulin in the evenings than I do during the day? Or why? Simple one, one word question, why? And don't sit there, well, why? 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 But get a discussion going with your doctor. Now, years ago, I got my third endocrinologist. And this endocrinologist said, each and every day that we have an appointment together, and this was, I was in the St. Paul's at the time, so it pretty well was every single day. And he said, you have to have a question for me. And the job is to stump me. And I gotta admit, I did this for, for a good two years. So I was in the hospital for two years. But at the beginning, I had to have a new question each and every day. And this is sort of when carb counting had come available. We were sort of on our way out of the exchange program. Couldn't think of what it was called, sorry the exchange program into carb counting. And so I, you know, asked my doctor at the time, a different doctor this time, what is it about carb counting and how does carb counting work? He spent a good half an hour going over it and saying, well, you know, when you're when you want to exchange carb, you can have this sort of from this group and at the amount of carbs, just have this amount of carbs that would equal out to the amount of sugar in the other one. I wasn't too good at explaining that. But my point is ask questions. You're never going to learn. And especially, have your children ask their doctor questions. Now, granted, when I got diabetes, I was 13 and just entering high school. I think I made it through one month of high school before actually getting sick. And... I always have questions. And now I have gone to the point <laughs> of last time and actually a couple of times when I was in the hospital. And you know, they give you an intern or a person responsible for your care. And I would ask them questions Is the Dawn syndrome real or imaginary? And I'd send them off and they would come back with an answer. And I had one or two saying that it actually had helped them. 
Now, it could be a question about something you don't understand. I'm not trying to say you have to read every single textbook and be a medical genius. But you do need to ask questions. So, if you don't have one or two of your own questions going into your doctor's appointment, then come up, you know, just think. There must be something that you are looking for, or, you know, maybe something you know already. But just keep communications open. Now, what does this do for you? It's a great refresher to you. It also enables you to make sure that you are up to date with the newest treatments or products because if I didn't ask questions I wouldn't really understand diabetes understand how to count carbs um, learn about new products and sensors and and for example one of the questions I went to a new diabetic center and I had a pump and I've been using this pump for eons and I knew there was a brand new pump but I thought it was you know nothing different until I was explained that you could go in, you could use the care link that I showed you, and it was so much more where it automatically shuts off if you have a low blood sugar. But you never have every bit of knowledge. Your doctor doesn't have every bit of knowledge. And if you stump the doctor, you with a new car, no, you can tell it. But I'm just saying that doctors may be super in one part of diabetes, but not the other. So you want to make sure that you ask the questions. And it, I think... Most people know the difference between open-ended and closed-ended questions. Closed-ended questions are the type of questions where you can answer yes, no, maybe. That's a closed-ended question. You want to develop questions that are open-ended so that it'll get dialogue moving. Now, there are so many different topics that you can ask questions with. And, um, it could be feet care, it could be diet, it could be what to do in an emergency. What happens when I have a DKA? You know, this is all something good to have in the back of your brain. And we talked about you and your doctor coming up with a plan for your diabetes care. A plan when you're sick. A plan when you have DKA. But don't wait until you're in an emergency situation to know what to do. Make sure you understand the plan. The plan isn't just for the doctor. Now, my dad 
moved to Edmonton during the oil boom years ago. And during that time he lived there, I went to live with him. And it was just after my mom kind of had done everything. And I really didn't know, you know, I did, oh yes, low is when I could eat sugar. That's pretty well all I knew. And the lady who kind of cooked for us, my doctor had said, oh, well, you should really go see a dietitian and have a diet appointment. Well, she went. She did go take me along, and the doctor was quite surprised about this. So, ask questions. Like, okay, you're going to go see the doctor. Well, who should come with me? My cataract surgery. You're not allowed to drive after, you know, I think it was a couple of days, or it was over the weekend or something. But that really wasn't explained until the day before whatever they called and confirmed. I mean, it could have gone where I would have shown up there and wouldn't have had anyone to drive me home. Yes, I ended up taking the ambulance to come home, but that's a different story. So ask your doctor questions. Ask your diabetic nurse questions. Ask the dietitian questions. And if they ask you questions, be honest about it. A lot of times, people are not going to be mad at you. If you don't understand, but understand and you will have a smoother road. Ask your doctor's questions. Because remember, diabetes does not control you. You control the diabetes. Have a great day and I'll talk to you later.